Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now let's take a look first look at the gold market. In fact guys the news that have been announced has been announced yesterday concerning the uh, decision on the import duty in India on the gold has impacted on the prices on the gold market because the duty has not been decreased from the 10% to 6% how market expects to see and that has driven the prices higher uh, because right now there's no suggestions and expectation of the decreasing of the price due to the uh, import duty in India that uh, also guys that's significant because India in a general uh, gold market almost is entering in the seasonal bullish phase of the trend you know that the gold gold is a seasonal commodity and the bullish trend seasonal bullish trend starts from the late August and uh, lasts till approximately till the February uh, and uh, this seasonal cycle is mostly stand due to the demand on the gold in Asia in the China and uh, in India this is the bidding period in India. This is the period of the harvest uh, in the, in the uh, New Year in the China. That's why, uh, since the China and India are two top uh, dem demanders, the consum consumptions of the gold, that's why the seasonal trend is hardly depends on the consumption in these countries. Well, and you can see that yesterday, based on this news that we have uh, warned you about in the beginning of the trading session, yesterday's market has completed our assumption and has driven significantly. Uh, so the first part of our assumption has happened. The market has moved above it, take out of this lows, and this stop grabber that we have discussed previously has worked nice. So this market right now has achieved the target. But what we see here we see another stop grabber but in this case this is the bearish pattern okay and this is very significant uh, because our major concern on the gold market stands with the possibility of the market holds to hold above above this top so if market will fail this and return right back down that will be mostly look like washing rinse of this top and in this case the chances on the downward re retracement will be significant also guys this stop grabber uh, relatively hints on the possible retracement because the target of this stop grabber stands at these lows that will be the minimum target of this grabber and if market will return right back down right to this area so really solid chances that market will continue move lower and finally will test the monthly pivot point that has been tested yet that's why as the upward action has stopped and with the possible menace that Fed will hint on the possible rate hiking, since the gold is uh, active, that uh, the fact the asset that doesn't offer any uh, interest, and uh, usually when the rates starts to increase, that hits not just an inflation but also non-interest bearing assets. Uh, the demand on these assets also decreased. And with the menace that this could happen, um, it's really a good impact on the gold in the nearest future. That's why I absolutely can't exclude the possibility that market will really show this retracement right back down. It also uh, is ex expectable by some other reasons that we have discussed many times previously. And uh, not right now we should be focused from the technical point of view. We do not have any other patterns. And we should keep an eye, we should be focused on this our most recent grabber that suggests the taking out of these laws and uh, also in turn suggests the possible downward action. On the on the four hour time frame chart we should keep an eye on this top 
because that in this in general in this area. So you can see the hidden divergence also works nice. So we can see the technical analysis in general as a rule confirms the fundamental events that expected on the market. Uh, right now we should watch for this area. It's approximately 1332 area. If market will return right back down, that will be the first sign of the possible downward continuation. I do not know whether the market will give us any clarification today, but in the short term perspective that two major points. First of all to understand whether it was just the wash and rinse of this top and whether the market will hold above it. If not, if market will return right back down, then we should be ready for retracement in an area of uh, monthly pivot point at 1295 13 even. 